Cheers. <laughs> You'll find me in in uh, good mood, a uh, cheerful mood, and uh, slightly uh, inebriated, if, it, if the truth be told. <laughs> I, I'm silly. This is pure gin. Uh, and normally I don't drink gin. I drink, uh, well, I drink anything I can get, really, but um, gin is not norm normally my tipple. Um, but I thought, well, you know, today um, <clears throat> it's a celebration, isn't it? Uh, because we're we're out, we're out of the EU, and uh, a jolly good job too. Uh, I mean, I'm, I can't can't say that I'm terribly uh, what you might call a political animal, but at the same time, um, I, I did I did follow all the arguments very closely, particularly Jeremy Paxman uh, the other night talking to um, whoever it was, I can't remember now. Oh, Sandy Shaw, wasn't it? Yes, yes, she was very good. I thought, very good, rather, rather, um, uh, rather, rather strident. I thought. Still, never mind. I mean, you know, point of view, point of view, point of view. And I believe she wished to remain. I'm not sure about that. Oh, somebody who did wish to remain as, um, oh, you know, the lady who was married to um, Inspector Morse. What's her name? Um, Mrs. Morse. You know. Well, anyway, her uh, charming lady, charming lady. But she, 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 she argued most uh, vigorously uh, to remain. But I have to say that my 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 mind was finally made up by that splendid chap. Um, oh God, his name Shed and um, Right, Ga Garage, Garage. No, Far Farage, Farage. Splendid chap. I mean, he's the sort of chap you'd have a pint with in the pub, you know. Always smiling and um, very splendid, splendid chap, I think. And uh, he pointed out, well, you know, the, the, the business about the, the, the 350 million or billion or whatever it was that we could have um, uh, on leaving, that we would um, have uh, a new hospital every week. Oh, I mean, not necessarily that, but 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 certainly three hundred and fifty million or billion, whatever it is, to pay for the equivalent of a new hospital every week, and obviously to pour it all into the national health service. You see, <laughs> what? What? No. Good heavens! He just, he just said he he he, he denied it this morning. He denied it. He says he, that wasn't what he said, wasn't what he meant. Oh, I, I think that's that's not cricket, you know. Bloody well isn't, no. Mm. No, I... Uh, oh, dear, I, I seem to have made the wrong... Um, I just, I, yeah, still, I suppose, um, he has his... He's, he's a, I mean, he's a splendid chap, you know. I do like him, and I... You know, you can forever forgive a chap a lot for being that kind of good egg. Do you know what I mean? So probably, I don't, don't think it's going to be too bad. I, I know they say the pound has gone right down and uh, we won't be able to travel all over Europe and can't live in Europe if you want to and travel. Oh, well, I, yeah, but I never did. I never did, you see. Now, that sounds terribly selfish, doesn't it? Because I said, me, me, me. But then... I am living in the age of the me generation, you see. Even though it's not my generation, <laughs> you see what I mean. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> Fuck it all, eh? <laughs> Good luck. Are you sure that's what he said? I don't think that. No, I'm sure, that, sure he didn't. No. Really? Are you really seriously telling me? And I say I went back on his work. I find that very difficult to understand. I really do.